Do you want to add some more interactivity to your levels by including platforms which fall when you jump on them? In this tutorial, I will show you how, including adding a little game juice like a puff of dust when the block hits the floor. Game Dev Journey. Hey everyone, it's Rob here from Game Dev Journey. I've set up a little level here just with a knight who can run and jump and fall. And we're going to add some platforms going up, and when he lands on these platforms, they fall down. So let's add in a new sprite to the level. We'll call this a, a weak block. And I've already got some animations for this, but you can easily draw your own. So as you can see here, I've got two slightly different frames, and this last frame is for when the block collides with the tile map at the bottom just so that it gives it a nice little effect so here's our little block and we'll put it over there and we're going to give it the solid behavior so that the player can stand on it and i'll show you how this works at every stage let's just turn off the animations so that we don't see it's just flipping through all of them and so what we got now is a block that can be stood on by the knight. That's perfect. Okay, now we want this block to kind of shake a little bit when it's about to fall down, and so is add the sine wave um, behavior to it. So we're going to go ahead and add the sine behavior to the block, and we're going to make it shake left and right. So we want it on horizontal. Um, we want it to be a sine wave, but the period is going to be very, very small, so it shakes left and right rapidly, and the magnitude is also going to be very small. So if we had to preview that, there you see the shaking of the block, so it looks like it's about shaking and about to fall down. Now, when it actually falls, that is going to be the bullet behavior, which which creates the downward motion. So we're actually going to add the bullet behavior to this block as well. And the um, bullet's initially going to have a speed of zero because of course it can't be moving at all in the beginning. Um, we won't make it bounce off solids. We will not make any angular changes to it, um, but it will be enabled. So what you'll see now is that bullet is enabled course it's, it's shaking there we're going to disable that that's the kind of effect that we're going for when the block falls so let's just disable our sine wave and so now when you play it just looks like any regular block it shouldn't be oh, sorry. Uh, I disabled the wrong one disable the sine wave so it looks like any regular block but when you jump on it it's going to start to shake and fall down um, just to add a little bit of juice to the game, we can add in some particles. So I'm going to right click here and say add new object. We're going to add a particle. And we'll add a particle for the, for the weak block. So we'll call it block particle. And let's just create our own one. Um, it's gray kind of looks fine so I'm just gonna fill in there with that gray in fact it could be a bit brighter let's go with let's go with that and the, this can be really very small because these are just small little particles that you're gonna see um, falling from the block as if it's um, bits of crumbling uh, stone falling from that big block as it falls. It's going to fall downwards, so we're going to change the um, angle of this particle to 90 degrees, which in construct is downwards. There you can see the the stuff falling downwards, and um, the other thing we'll do with it is well this is preview how this effect is going to look so i'm going to turn on preview um, there and so that's the kind of idea we get of course that looks like smoke right now if 
if we move it down here to the block this is what's going to be coming off the block as it falls um, but we of course don't want it to look like smoke so let's change the rate here make it much slower um, we don't want it to be a spray cone because these are going to be individual stones falling off of the block we want the speed to be slower the size of course is very small these are small stones falling and let's add a bit of randomness in here and let's add in some numbers and let's randomize the speed as well so now i don't know if you can see it we'll zoom in and you can see these these little stones that are going to appear to be falling off of the block as it falls let's now set it so that its acceleration is zero all of these in fact can be zero and we'll just make it time out and we'll let these little stones fall off for 0.2 seconds so that is our end effect there that's what's going to happen when the block is about to fall that looks great to me okay now when this large stone collides with these stones on the ground we're going to have a little cloud of dust and then the stone is going to disappear we will destroy it so let's add in another particle for the dust so let's add a new object particle let's call it dust insert and i've actually got a nice little picture that i'm going to use for the dust it's just a white cross you could draw your own you could do anything you like yeah but i felt that this one works quite well and let's again preview what it's going to be like when it collides now the dust is a puff of dust that's coming upwards so the angle is going to have to be 270 degrees which is up in construct so the dust is going to go up like that when when this block hits the ground the dust goes up okay so let's add a few more um, let's refine this this dust that we see here so let's preview it at the moment it's just big smoke which is not what we're going for so let's change the rate right down let's say eight let's make the cone 180 so we get a much wider field um, we'll change it to one shot in the end because as it lands it's going to be this puff of dust and then that's over but just while we preview we keep it on continuous so we can see what we're doing um, the speed is, is way too fast so we're going to bring that right down the size we're going to shrink this is just a little bit of dust so we're going to really take this down um, the grow rate we'll make negative 10 and we'll randomize it a little bit because this is dust after all and the rest can be zero the acceleration we don't want any and the gravity we don't really want this to travel far above the ground at all must stick really low down we are again going to make this uh, timeout we'll just randomize take away the speed randomization we want it to time out again and we'll give it half a second there we go that's our little puff of dust as the block collides with the ground of the level and we'll change this to a one shot and that should be perfect now we can just put these off screen because they will be spawned in um, when we need them excellent so now we can get to the code so it's coming to our event sheet and I've created a group here for the falling blocks already. So if you remember, for our blocks, we've got two different types of blocks. So if we wanted to add a nice element of um, randomness um, or variety to our, our level, we could randomly pick one of those types, tile types when the um, blocks are created so we can create an event here weak blocks and we'll choose the uncreated event 
and when it's created we'll add the action that the weak blocks um, choose one of those frames so they're going to choose either frame 0 or frame 1 just so we get different weak blocks a little var variety for our level now we'll do the falling now what's going to happen is when the player collides with the weak block so on collision with the weak block we want that block to fall so we're going to enable the sign action that we disabled so here we're going to find sign we're going to enable the sign behavior that's our shaking from left to right then we're going to spawn our um, our block particle so we're going to go to our weak block and it's going to spawn our block particle on the player layer which is layer one there you can see layer one so we spawn our little block particle um, and then we want to wait a little bit so that we can have a chance to see those particles so we'll We'll add in a wait, let's say 0.8 seconds or so. You see some of those falling particles. Also gives the player time to get off of the block that's about to fall. You can play with this number. It will be different for every game. Then we can destroy the particles we just made. So our block particle can now be destroyed. And we now, the block is going to fall the player is going to fall off it if they stay on so we want to disable the solid behavior of the block so we want to go to our weak block and disable the solid behavior so we're going to disable solid behavior then the then we can disable the shaking so the sign behavior can then be disabled as well so we go to our weak block go to our sign behavior we can disable it now so no longer shaking and now we're going to enable the bullet behavior so that the block falls downwards so now we're going to add an action to our weak block we're going to go to the bullet we're going to set the speed of the bullet to something quite fast 200 and we're going to set the angle of motion downwards which is 90 degrees so we're going to go to our weak block go to our bullet and set the angle of motion to 90 degrees that's down and that means the block will fall down. Now, when the block collides with the ground, that's when we want to turn off the bullet behavior, um, switch to that last animation, the white animation of the block, spawn the dust, and then destroy the block. Okay, but let's just see how this looks so far, because we've made a lot of changes. Let's see how it looks. So we are here, we're running around, we jump, and it falls okay I see the particles are going in the wrong direction so we just need to make need to check that quickly so if we go to our um, particles that would be block particles see the angle is 90 degrees which is downwards and when we previewed it they are falling downwards but it seems when they spawn they're at the wrong angle. So let's just add in a check here to make sure they're at the right angle. So that when they are spawned, we also set block particle, set the angle to 90 degrees. And we'll put this up there. And just check if that fixes the problem. So now we jump, yeah. And now they are coming downwards. Okay, so that was a lot better. Right, now we need the collision. So, we'll add an event when the weak block collides with our tile map, which is the floor in this case. Then we're gonna turn off the bullet speed. So we'll say weak block um, set speed to zero. We will change animations weak block set frame to two the third animation and we'll spawn the dust so we'll say weak block spawn the 
the dust and that will be on layer one which is the player layer and then we will because I saw we had that problem here where the angle wasn't set we may as well just preempt that and set the angle of the dust to upwards 270 and then we wait a little bit so you can see this dust so it's um, wait 0 0.04 short short time and then we destroy that block so weak block destroy and that should be the end of our effect and let's have a look how it turns out so you jump and it falls and it's gone and we could add more of these to our level so we could duplicate these that so that the player can go up 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 and there we go a nice little falling block effect i hope you learned something if you did please like the video and consider subscribing to support me goodbye